Boozer, do you hear me? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable for 21 coins, make sure you head over to U7 Buy. And also, I want you to do one very special thing. At checkout, make sure to use code FIZZY for a little discount. Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the JR Fizzy channel. Welcome back, boys, to another FIFA 21 video. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the well-known, the very famous bronze pack method can we get an applaud can we get a little you know do you know what i mean because it's absolutely crazy listen bronze pack method has been a foundation for so many grinders so many rtg owners over the years where you don't have money to spend on the game but bronze pack methoding comes in clutch and today we're going to be seeing how bronze pack method works i'll explain the method for you guys how to use it in fifa 21 because there's some changes and also i'm going to be showing you the profits over uh the bronze pack method as well so what we're going to do is we're going to be opening 10 bronze packs and seeing if we can make profit from those 10 bronze packs all right so make sure you stay to the end of this video so you can see everything that we keep and sell so all of you guys can follow and relate as well if you are new make sure to smash a like on this video and subscribe to the channel and join team boozer turn the bell on so you never miss a youtube li upload video and also a youtube live stream because we do live stream every single day ready for that 6 p.m content so if you are new come hang out and uh, enjoy the good stuff within the youtube live streams, man they're really really fun on the rtgs and stuff so yeah boys you guys listen bronze pack method i got some bronze players on the bench right here they're ready to go they're all smiling well, this guy's not smiling, but it's cool. Let's get into the video. All right, boys. So here we are. The first thing that everyone needs to know is that with Bronze Pack Method, you do not open the 750 coin packs. Never. You never do it. You only stick to the 400 coin packs. The reason being is the, the least amount of input you have to put in for the maximizing output as per usual. So we are starting in the top left-hand corner. You can see 131,000 coins. Now, we're opening 10 bronze packs, right? So, we'll open our first one up right now. Now, the major change in FIFA 21 that a lot of people have been worrying about and talking about is how do you make coins, you know? Fitness cards are not in bronze packs. And fitness cards over the year, the squad fitnesses, the single fitnesses, they were a big part of bronze pack method. And they always were um, because they were the, they were going for a 1,000 coins minimum, making that money back instantly. We actually get lucky in our first bronze pack method. We get 100 coins. So out of our 400 outlay, we've already got back uh, 100 coins there. Now, these celebrations, I'm not going to lie, they don't really tend to sell if I'm being completely honest. But, you know, you never know. You might as well list them up. There's none on the market. So, you know what? I'll list them up. See what happens for 200. These, again... I don't really know if this is a glitch, but it clearly says that nothing's... I don't know if, like... I don't know, maybe my... Tra okay, no. So, my transfer mark is fine. Uh, it just seems like these things are not on the list. So, do you know what? As I said, I'm going to list them up. You never know. Maybe fans of these clubs may pick them up for 200 coins. You never know. So, the first player we're seeing is Man Like Bowery. Now, you can see there, 200 coins. I don't believe he's going to sell. But with Bronze Pack Method, the way that it works now, you do list up pretty much everything. Just because, um, the, like, you want to maximize your coins. And if someone sells, if you, if someone buys a player by accident, or if someone buys a player for an SBC, you get lucky. You never know. Uh, so, I've listed up everyone there for 200 because that's pretty much what they're going to go for maximum. Contracts-wise, for me, I usually keep the contracts just because they're things that I can use. And then maybe in the future, I can list a man, uh, uh, like, max list them, sorry. Or I can just quick sell them. So, second bronze pack. Let's see what we got going on. But yeah, if those, you only need 400 coins back. And that's what you guys need to remember. With Bronze Pack Memphis, you only need 400 coins back, man. That's pretty much it. And this guy right here, let's have a look here. Man like Can, Chan, Can. Uh, do you know what? He might be selling for 300 coins if I can list him for 300. I can. I'm going to list him up for 350. And that's majority of that Bronze Pack done. This guy right here, La Liga, set, uh, La Liga left back. Now, again, he's going to sell. So I'm going to list him up for 300 coins. And that's 600 coins if they sell. Now, this guy right here, I don't believe he's going. He's from the Korean League. Uh, and yeah, major na not major nation, smaller nation, uh, smaller league. This guy right here, Sudamericana. Now, again, bronze pack method will be made much better once the um, once 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 league SBCs are out. That's when bronze pack method is going to be really really booming. So from our second pack there, not much, but as you can see, our coins have gone down by about a thousand. You know, and we've so we've opened our three bronze pack, 1,200 bronze packs. You know what, like 1,200 coins, should I say, 
it is what it is, man. But, as I said, if you guys are excited for League SBCs to come back, make sure to smash a like and also drop a little comment down below saying that you are excited. Now, Ironside, that is a banging name. I can't even lie. Uh, 200 coins, list them up. I'll write back here. Now, a lot of uh, with Bronze Pack Method, you might get lucky with some of these cards that are in uh, SBC Solutions in Footbin. If they're in SBC Solutions in Footbin, you'll be very lucky because most of the people pay stupid prices for some of this stuff. Now, this guy, for some reason, the worm, again, a celebration that is not on the market. And this is what I'm saying. I'm just going to try and list it up. If it sells, it sells. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Again, this manager, I don't think he'll sell. Rare contracts, again, I keep for myself. What people don't really tend to realize about bronze packs is the fact that sometimes it's not even about making profit. It's about spending the minimum outlay to maximize what you have in the club to utilize for, uh, for bigger goods, basically. So it's like basically spending the least amount that you can to get the highest results. Um, and bronze pack method, what it does allow you to have is it allows you to have a lot of players in the club. It allows you to um, access a lot of upgrade, uh, like upgrade SPCs. Like you can do bronze upgrades. Like you guys know, bronze upgrades were such a massive part of an RTG last year in terms of a FIFA grind, a League SBC grind, because they give you the silver cards that you need for League SBCs. And that gives you the gold packs and that gives you, you know, the chance of getting those big players and stuff like that. So it's all part of a massive grind. It's all part of a bigger picture. And sometimes with bronze pack method, you might think that, you know, in a couple of, if it, in like maybe 10 to 20 packs, you don't pack anything that goes for more than 500 coins. But that's not the end of the world because it's so cheap to buy these bronze packs, you don't need to worry. So the main things when you're looking at a bronze pack is, yeah, what can I sell? First of all, you look at the players. Like for example, if we go through these players, this guy's gonna have a league SPC, this guy's gonna have a league SPC, this guy's gonna have a league SPC, and this guy's gonna have a league SPC. So right there and then, if all four of their league SPCs were out, all four of these guys will be useful to me because I know that in, if I use that in a team, I know I can get a pack pack for that. Or if you want to sell and you don't interest in League SPCs, sell all of them and you're making money on your bronze pack method. But at the moment, they're going for 200 coins. The reason being is because they're just, they're, they're, there's no use for them. And the only use at the moment there is for them is if people want that uh, cheap player just to fill in for a League SPC slot or something like that. And that's what people need to recognize. That's what people need to think. So I think we're on our fifth pack here. So this is now number six. Um, and we're still at 130,000 coins. Now we're at 129,000. So as I said, 4,000 coins is the maximum that we're going to be putting in. So I think this is pack number six, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see what we got going on here. Ooh, we get a, ooh, we get a Dortmund goalkeeper there. And again, this guy it would be really expensive. And a lot of you guys need to remember, when marquee matchups come out, or when a specific SBC comes out, players like this guy, a Dutch player, right? From, look, like, you, I knew he was probably going to have a value. He's rare. He'll have a decent value. I'll try and list him up for 450. You never know. Might get lucky. This guy right here, let's say a Dortmund SBC comes out where you need one Dortmund player in marquee matchups. This guy will be going boom, booming through the roof. The reason being is a lot of people will try and stay away from the obvious gold cards. They'll be like, oh, you know what? Everyone's going to have those gold cards. So I'm going to try and go for someone who's not as recognizable, not as big. And this guy, again, that would make his price value a lot. Like, it would make it rise a lot, and which is uh, one of the good things about Bronze Fat Method. I love it. Um, this guy right here, Striker. Mm, not really going for anything. No problem. Again, I'm going to list them up for 200 coins because we're Bronze Pack Method. List everything up for 200 coins. List them up twice. If they don't sell, no problem. Just send them into the club and eventually you'll find a reason to sell them and stuff like that. I've actually meant to uh, keep that. Uh, buying two badges. Is that going to sell the stadium theme? Yeah, I didn't think so. Didn't think so. All right, so this is pack number seven. Now, we started this off at 131,000 coins, guys. So 127,000 coins is where we should be going towards. And that is, you know, that, that door at the back looked really, really weird. Uh, I didn't know why it looked like that, but it did anyways. Okay, so this guy right here, again, 200 coins we're going to go for. And this is the thing with Bronze Pack Method. The, the main thing is, the money you're spending, are you going to make that back in the long term? And long term wise, Bronze Pack Method is a long term method. You guys need to understand this. With Bronze Pack Method, it is a long term method. Unless, for example, the first time the Sudamericana and the Libertadores come out, the first time those two SBCs come out, that day, you will be able to make 100,000 coins with Bronze Pack per hour. The reason being is because the Sudamericana and Libertadores cards come out so much in Bronze Pack, you'll be able to sell them for stupid prices because people, when those when those SBCs come out, you know I'll make a video on it, but you, when those SBCs come out, a lot of people are paying stupid prices for, for stupid cards for no reason, when realistically, they could buy other cards that only cost 200. 
But because they'll look at Footbin SPCs, what cards in the Footbin SPC? Let me have a look at that. They'll look at those things, and obviously, that will make the prices go up. Now, this is right here. This is a Crystal Palace player. He will probably pay for something, which is decent. So, I'm going to list him up for 500 coins. Uh, Aviero, I believe in you, my friend. I believe in you. You keep grinding, bro. You keep trying to get to that silver. Uh, this guy right here, again, a couple of cards listed out for minute outside of the minimum price i'll list him up for 200 again this guy right here seems to maybe in an SBC. he might be desirable i'll list him up for 250 see what we got going on holt as a manager what are you saying holt mate what's the tactics what's the what's the plan what's the plan lad what's going on do you see that glitch that was a weird glitch look at that look at that weird glitch what is that why is that a glitch he's not a gold card ea he's a bronze card what's going on there What's going on there? That is madness. But anyways, Holt's not selling for anything. It's all good. Everything else, we kind of discard. Keep the contracts for a later date. You never know. I think this is pack number 9 or pack number 10, if I'm not mistaken. But let's say this is pack number 10. But as you guys know, with Bronze Pack Method, when you open a pack, the main thing is you want to make back your 400 coin. That is your main objective with every single Bronze Pack. Now, when League SBC comes out, that's when the blurred lines start to kick in. And don't worry, I'll explain all those blurred lines in another video. But if for this particular video, when Bronze Pack Methoding comes out, you want to sell all the players that sell. You want to keep all the players that keep. Now, this guy right here, he looks like he's selling. He's got 150 bid there. I'll list him up for 200 coins. Let's hope that he does go for that 150 bid. And that's a couple coinage back. This guy right here, again, 200 coins. No problem. We'll see what we got going on with him. This guy right here, yeah, nothing, nothing there. Cypress guy, nothing there, mate. And uh, Wagner, uh, what's going on here, mate? You are, yeah, buying, buying two. I didn't think buying one. Again, 200 coins, pretty much standard. But that's pretty much what it is. With Bronze Pack, you guys need to, when you open a Bronze Pack, your main objective is to make back 400 coins. And as, if you guys were keeping tabs in, in the corner of your screen, you could see that my coins weren't really decreasing. We've opened about four Bronze Packs there, and we've managed to get uh, still 129,000 coins. So we've spent 2,000 coins, right? Got a bunch of contracts in the club. These two guys are paid for one of those bronze packs. And then we've got so much stuff still selling on. So once all of this stuff sells, or once some of it sells, we will make back the hundred, the, 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 the two to 3,000, 4,000 coins that we've spent, as you guys can see. So, and this is the way bronze pack methoding works. It's basically a short-term minimum outlay for a long-term um, a bigger gain basically and when league SPCs come out when all of that kind of stuff come out copper uh, like libertadores sudamericano all that kind of stuff when all of that kind of stuff comes out you guys know that i'll bring out the uh the methods and the videos on how to do more and more things but this is a little intro for everyone who doesn't know what bronze pack method is in if you are new to this channel make sure to smash a like on this uh video and subscribe to the channel and join team boozer let's push towards 15,000 subscribers that would be amazing if you guys could be the driving source of that you guys can join the party and enjoy your time here man but i'll catch you guys in later on's live stream i'll be your boy i hope you enjoy team boozer we out peace